Hi boys and girls. We are gonna talk about another genre today. The genre we're talking about is the non-fiction genre. I bet you already know what that means. What's non-fiction? It's a story about real things, real people or places or things. And the cool part of reading a non-fiction book is that you can learn facts about real life. You can learn new information. A lot of people love nonfiction books. They're really fun to read. The nonfiction book we're gonna to read today is called Precipitation. And it's by Kristen Schutz. I wonder what precipitation is. Have you ever heard of that word? We're gonna find out. If you don't know, we're gonna learn a new thing right now from this nonfiction book. What is precipitation? Plants, animals, and people all need water to live. The water cycle moves water to the earth from the sky, and precipitation is part of this cycle. So here's the water cycle. When the water goes up in the form of vapor, it evaporates, right? And then it forms these clouds, and then it has to come back down. When it comes back down, that's the part that's called precipitation. Precipitation is water that falls from the clouds. It can fall as a liquid or a solid. You know water that falls from the clouds. Rain is the liquid form. It can come as a sprinkle or a downpour. A drizzle is a misty liquid. It's lighter than a rain. So rain is one kind of precipitation. Precipitation becomes snow when the weather is colder. The solid flakes can be wet and sticky or light and powdery. Sometimes precipitation is a mix of rain and snow. It can also fall as small bits of ice called sleet. And freezing rain happens when water droplets become ice as they land bike is covered in freezing rain. Hail happens during severe weather. It falls as hard balls of ice. Hail can be small like peas or large like softballs. It could dent cars and houses. I've never seen hail that big, but it does get that big can even dent your car. Measuring precipitation. Meteorologists use radar to locate precipitation. Radar shows where rain and snow will be and it tells how much might fall. And a meteorologist is a word for a scientist who studies the weather and they tell us to expect the snow or expect the rain by using the radar. A rain gauge collects water falling from the sky. The measurement shows how much water has fallen. Farmers need just the right amount of precipitation, too much can cause flooding. Too little means a drought and the crops cannot grow without the water. See, there's the flooding and there's the drought. The end. So that was a really cool nonfiction book about precipitation. I hope you learned something from listening to it. See you later.